The story of the Space Shuttle Columbia is one of triumph, innovation, and profound loss. Columbia was not just a spacecraft, it was a symbol of humanity's unyielding quest to explore the unknown. It carried astronauts who dreamed of touching the stars and brought back lessons that reshaped space exploration forever. However, its legacy is also a stark reminder of the risks inherent in reaching beyond our planetary confines. In this documentary, we will delve into the journey of Columbia, from its groundbreaking missions to the tragic event that changed spaceflight forever. With exclusive insights and a detailed chronicle of events, we aim to honor the spirit of exploration that Columbia represents. In the 1970s, NASA envisioned a reusable spacecraft that would make space travel more economical and routine. This led to the development of the Space Shuttle program. Columbia, the first shuttle to be constructed, was a marvel of engineering, integrating cutting-edge technology with the versatility to perform a variety of missions. Named after the sloop Columbia Redviva, which explored the Pacific Northwest in the 18th century, the shuttle embodied the spirit of discovery. Construction began in 1975, with Rockwell International leading the design and build. After years of rigorous testing, Columbia was rolled out to Kennedy Space Center in 1979, ready to herald a new era in space exploration. Its distinctive white and black thermal tiles made it instantly recognizable, and it set the stage for NASA's ambitious goals in low Earth orbit. On 12 April 1981, Columbia embarked on its maiden flight, STS-1, with astronauts John Young and Robert Crippen aboard. This mission marked the first time a spacecraft designed for reuse had flown into orbit. Despite numerous challenges, including damage to heat-resistant tiles during launch, Columbia's mission was a success. It proved the viability of the Space Shuttle concept, paving the way for decades of scientific and exploratory missions. The world watched in awe as Columbia soared into the skies, a testament to human ingenuity. Its successful return to Earth showcased the shuttle's resilience and set a precedent for future missions, demonstrating that reusable spacecraft could revolutionize space travel. Over the years, Columbia played a pivotal role in advancing scientific research. The shuttle's missions facilitated groundbreaking experiments in microgravity, astronomy, and materials science. From deploying satellites to conducting experiments in its onboard laboratory, Columbia expanded our understanding of the universe and our place in it. One notable mission was STS-35 in 1990, which carried the Astro-1 observatory. This mission allowed scientists to study ultraviolet radiation from celestial objects, providing invaluable data that contributed to astrophysics. Columbia's capacity to carry large payloads and host complex experiments made it a cornerstone of NASA's scientific endeavors. Columbia also served as a platform for international collaboration. Through missions like STS-65 in 1994, which carried the International Microgravity Laboratory, scientists from around the globe united to conduct research. This mission underscored the shuttle program's role in fostering global cooperation in space exploration. By bringing together researchers from diverse backgrounds, Columbia's missions demonstrated the potential for humanity to work collectively towards common scientific goals. It bridged cultural and geopolitical divides, proving that space exploration could be a unifying force. While Columbia was a technological marvel, it was not without its challenges. Early missions revealed vulnerabilities in the shuttle's thermal protection system and avionics. Over the years, NASA implemented upgrades to enhance its safety and performance. These upgrades included new onboard computers, 
improved thermal protection tiles and more efficient main engines. Despite these advancements, the shuttle's design limitations highlighted the inherent risks of space travel. Each mission became a testament to the resilience and adaptability of both the spacecraft and its crews. On 16th January 2003, Columbia embarked on its 28th mission, STS-107. The crew of seven, led by Commander Rick Husband, included pilots, engineers, and scientists from diverse backgrounds. Their mission focused on conducting over 80 experiments in microgravity, covering topics ranging from biological sciences to physical phenomena. Tragically, during launch, a piece of foam insulation from the external fuel tank struck the shuttle's left wing. This seemingly minor incident would prove catastrophic. While the damage went unnoticed during the mission, it compromised the thermal protection system, leaving Columbia vulnerable during re-entry. As Columbia re-entered Earth's atmosphere on 1st February 2003, disaster struck. The damage to its left wing allowed superheated air to penetrate the shuttle's structure, leading to its disintegration over Texas. All seven crew members perished, and the world mourned the loss of these brave explorers. The tragedy shocked the global community and raised critical questions about NASA's safety protocols. It was a stark reminder of the risks associated with space exploration and the need for continuous vigilance and innovation. The Columbia Accident Investigation Board CABE, was established to determine the cause of the disaster. The board's findings highlighted systemic issues within NASA, including organizational culture and decision-making processes. It identified the foam strike as the primary cause of the accident, but also pointed to broader challenges in the shuttle program. The CABE's recommendations led to significant changes in NASA's approach to risk management and safety. These reforms aimed to ensure that the sacrifices of Columbia's crew were not in vain. The seven astronauts who lost their lives aboard Columbia, Rick Husband, William McCool, Michael Anderson, Elon Ramon, Kalpana Chavla, David Brown, and Laurel Clark are remembered as heroes. Their dedication to advancing science and exploration continues to inspire future generations. NASA established scholarships, memorials, and educational initiatives in their honor. These efforts serve as a lasting tribute to their courage and commitment to expanding humanity's horizons. Columbia's tragedy prompted NASA to re-evaluate its approach to space exploration. The shuttle program underwent extensive modifications, and safety became a paramount concern. These lessons have influenced subsequent programs, including the Artemis missions and commercial spaceflight initiatives. The legacy of Columbia endures in the advancements it enabled and the lives it touched. It stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and our unwavering pursuit of knowledge. In 2011, NASA retired the Space Shuttle program, marking the end of an era. Columbia's contributions, along with those of its sister shuttles, paved the way for new approaches to space exploration. The program's achievements continue to inspire innovations in reusable spacecraft and international collaboration. As we look to the future, Columbia's story remains a guiding light, reminding us of the sacrifices and triumphs that define our journey into the cosmos. The story of Columbia is more than a tale of a spacecraft, it is a narrative of human ambition, courage, and resilience. From its groundbreaking missions to its tragic loss, Columbia symbolizes the challenges and rewards of exploring the unknown. As we continue to venture into space, we carry the lessons of Columbia with us. Its legacy inspires us to dream bigger, aim higher, and honor the explorers who dared to push the boundaries of what is possible. Through their sacrifice, 
they have illuminated the path for future generations, ensuring that the spirit of exploration lives on.